In this video, we're not going to do much coding in R. I just want to give kind of a brief tour of some other HTML widgets you might find interesting. Again, as with a lot of Plotly, I'm drawing really strongly on the information that they have in the vignettes for each of those packages. And for all of these, you can find that information if you look for HTML widgets and then R. That will take you to the homepage for these through R Studio. And once you do that, you can look through the showcase. And on each of these, there's a lot more information if you click through. For example, we're going to look at this one and then click through to, um, to the full kind of like package down page. Often there'll be like a reference there or, there or a getting started and then there might even be some information in the side chapter headings where you can go through and do different stuff. So you can find out everything that you want for all of these by going through for there. But for this video, I'm just going to give you a tour and it's got in the slides some of the examples from their vignettes that we'll look at. So the first one is the R Boca. This provides an interface actually to a Python interactive visualization library. Um, there are there's a website with lots of examples of these for the for the R Boca version, and then there's also a link that I put here where you can find out even more by going to the page for the original Python library. Uh, a lot of these are similar to what we were just looking at with Plotly, so you can do scatter plots. And again, when you zoom over, it's giving information about each point, and it gives you the chance to kind of zoom in. And then if you want to, you can pan around. Uh, you can save a, a snapshot of a particular value, things like that. It's also got some really cool examples. One of them is um, the periodic table of the elements where it's used R to create this, and, and as you scroll over each one, it gives you more information about each of those values. There's also the digraphs package. We looked a little bit with Plotly about how you can work with time series. This is another package that allows you to create interactive visualizations for time series. So again, I've linked through to the, the full information about this, the full website. But here's an example. This is showing monthly deaths from lung disease in the UK in the 1970s. And so we've got this kind of case where as we scroll over, it gives us in this top right hand corner some information for that particular point on the number of deaths for male and female for the two groups that it's showing. The DT package is one that's going to look a little familiar, and this is maybe the easiest of all the HTML widgets to use. This allows you to take a data frame and create an interactive table out of it. So this is an example here using the World Cup data, and you can see it lets you do things like you can click right here, and it will rearrange by that particular column. You can also search for different things here. So if there's a team you wanted to search for, you can search there and it'll limit to that. And you can also change how many entries that you show. There are also some that let you work with network data. Um, network data can be kind of um, a little bit specific, but here, here's an example where we've got a data frame we've created where it's got one column that says the source that the data is coming from. So it's coming from point A for the first one to point B. That's the target. And the next one's going from A to C and so on. So once you pass that through to Simple Network, you can see that this has made all of those connections. And the interactivity here, it allows you as you kind of go on one, it shows the different nodes that that, that particular node's connected to. And then it also lets you kind of play around and move, move that around. You can look even at much more complex ones. So I think this is using um, maybe words from the Count of Monte Cristo or something like that. But um, you can see that in this case, you've got grouping for clusters that are together. Again, you can kind of like um, scroll over to see what some of those connections are. And typically, you can, you can kind of move these around some as well. You can also create what are called sand key diagrams using network D3. So this allows you to look at how different things kind of like where they came from and where they're going to. So here, if you scroll on one of these, it gives you all the pathways in and then all of the pathways out. Finally, you can create your own widget if you can find a JavaScript visualization library that you want to pass into R. And there's some more information about how to do that. That's kind of a more advanced topic, but you could create one of these packages yourself if you found something you really loved and wanted to bring in. And there's some advice through the HTML widgets page on how to do that.